So we're going to do a communal setup of two different species, the chocolate millipedes and this. So guys, can you see that rack just there? That top one is empty. That's where they're going to go. That's what I'm going to do. Let's rehouse them right now. We'll set up the, we'll do the setup first and then we'll move on to put them in. They're the millipedes that are going to be going in here. We've got two chocolates on the left and the, I think it's called Aegilius or whatever it's called. Let me know in the comment section below what you think the big black one's called. They're the ones that are going into this setup. Let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see me add other species into this communal setup. We have got bumblebee millipedes and the four giant African millipedes. They could get added in. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. Start of any good setup is the substrate. We're going to be using our Northern Exotics Tropical substrate. And we just jump it straight in. Uh, we're going to add a bit more into it. We pat that all down as really hard and really firm. And once that's in there, we're going to be adding some leaf mulch. That's just a big matter of decaying leaves, as you can tell. Look at that. I'll mix it all in shortly. And then on top of that, we've got a little bit of cocoa fiber mixed in with a little bit of leaf mulch. So we have the perfect substrate. We're just going to mix it all around and see where we go from there. Next in the mix goes some chunky white rotten wood. Now they will eat some of this white rotten wood. If you want to know more about this, it's simply just oak wood. I got it from the forest, froze it for a few weeks, and then I let it dry out for six weeks. And I get the claw on a hammer and I just stab it in and just chip little bits off, just like that. But then once that's done, it's simply a case of just break up the few of the bigger bits and jump in, all guns blazing, mix it up as best you possibly can. And that is, in my opinion, the perfect good all-round bioactive millipede substrate look at that it's got everything you could possibly need inside the perfect that. so the next thing to add into their enclosure the clean up crew today we're going to be using tropical gray wood lice and springtails and here they are you can see a few of them there there's loads of springtails loads of isopods uh, we've got loads of babies and only a few adults because i do want these to culture up really nicely and they're going to thrive in this environment they're going to clean up all the waste matter produced by the millipedes and then it's quite simply a bit of moss now this moss, I just I picked a little bit up myself and I've grew it, so I know it's perfectly safe for these. I'm simply going to grab a piece, which let's have a grab on this piece here. And I'm going to drop it in the enclosure. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pack it over into one corner and just gently tap it down. And grab a little bit more and I'll go back just there. Again, just pack it down nice and gentle. I'll get a bit more moss and I'll put it uh, there and I just tap it down nice and gentle all the way around I'll get another little piece to pack in that hole there and this little piece here to pack in just there check it out while I'm filming they're trying to escape look that one's all the way over there <laughs> give it a good water to properly help it root down nicely. Now we've got quite a bit of decor we're going to add into it, so let's do that now. Let's start with a bit of wood. I've got various little chunky bits of wood. Uh, I like to push it down into the substrate a little bit, and I'll show you why just soon. And I like to mix and match it together because I'll get a little piece of moss and I'll just stick it on the wood, and hopefully, over time, it will root to the wood, and that'll look quite nice. We've got a couple more bits of decaying wood, which I'm just going to drop in. Uh, we've got a decayed lotus pod, so that'll, that can go in there. Uh, we've got a lovely little nutshell. I'll stick that, possibly burrow it just there nicely, because they do like to go inside that. And then finally, just a little piece of bark, I'll drop that on top with a bit of leaf litter. If you want to know more about the leaf litter or the substrate, there's links in the description to the Northern Exotics um facebook page and the ebay site to buy it off and then last but not least another lotus pod which can go just there so let's recap there it is all together how beautiful does that look they're going to absolutely love it so much more enrichment in here i can't wait to see them in here so that's pretty much their communal enclosure complete all i've really got to do now is spray down the whole enclosure 
and add a little bit more wood into there maybe a little bit more leaf litter but let's add the millipedes first of all let's add the two chocolates and see what they do we'll add them next to each other so hopefully they can stay together and straight away the female one decides oh, i know i'm going to go for a look around they're probably going to go and make some burrows and stuff like that just generally going around to explore their new enclosure it's going to be all new for them so they're either going to be a little bit stressed out but extremely caught um curious as well it's so fascinating to watch them go when they're close up like this so while those guys are getting used to the enclosure we'll add the um other one you can see the other two there's one over there and there's one down there this is the agilius let's see what he does they are absolutely fascinating to watch just look at that the joy with the bigger ones you can really see all their little legs working all in harmony together i absolutely love millipedes there he goes checking out the lotus pod there's that chocolate millipede making a little burrow there's those two giving each other a kiss and that's that guys thanks for watching if you've enjoyed it hit the thumbs up button like subscribe and hit that notification bell see you all next time